up everyone welcome back to my channel on today's video i just figured i would do my top brushes for beginners if you're just beginning to do makeup or you want to buy a brush set and you know you don't know what to buy i figured i would show you guys my top brushes that you must have and they are my favorite brushes and i use them all the time so i just figured i would show you guys some brushes that you can get if you're a beginner and you don't know what brushes to get these are very good they're high quality and they are super affordable but before we get started please make sure you subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell to get notified every time i upload videos and please give it a thumbs up at the end if you like this video and if you have any suggestions for videos please let me down in the comments down below and yeah let's go ahead and get started okay so first of all i want to mention all of these brushes are Morphe. If you hate Morphe, I'm sorry. I know a lot of people hate Morphe because everybody talks about Morphe. I personally, personally, I love Morphe. It's super affordable and it's high quality. Yes, let's go ahead and get started. So, so the first brush that you need to have, I have two options because it's going to be a foundation brush. If you apply your foundation with a brush, you need this brush. And if you apply it with a sponge, I'm gonna show you a sponge that you can get or you can get any other sponge. But this is a Morphe brush set. I'm gonna be showing you the Morphe one. So if you apply your foundation with a brush, you need the Morphe M6 brush. So this is what it looks like right here. I'm gonna be inserting a picture somewhere around here so you guys can see it more clearly. So this is what it looks like right here. It's stained because I used it the other day and this is this is the m6 this is called the pro flat buffer brush and this retails for $12 which I think it's pretty cheap for a brush because if you go to Mac a brush like this is gonna be like I don't know like $30 or something so I'm gonna be reading the description of what it says it does this dense flat kabuki brush buffs in liquid foundation and powder foundation and this is a synthetic brush how you can tell if it's synthetic or natural hairs it's the color of the brushes so like this one it's a little bit darker so this is going to be a synthetic brush i'll show you later on what a natural hair brush is because i do have some that it's natural so this is the first brush it's uh once again the m6 and it works great to buff in liquid or powder foundations now if you apply your foundation with a sponge I do have the Morphe. This is called the Highlight and Contour Beauty Sponge, and this is $8. So, $8? I remember it was like $7. Did Morphe wind up under prices? I'm not sure. So, it's this right here. I like to use this part right here, which is the more pointy one. I used to, I like to use this one for the actual foundation. I did use it on this makeup, but I used the pink version. If you they have like a red version which is the original one and then they have the pink one which is the collab with jeffree star and if you guys can see this is the actual size once you wet it it gets bigger so i like to use this part right here the pointy one for my foundation everything and then the flat one works great for like concealer under your eye and to bake as well it works super good so and once again if you apply foundation with a brush i recommend the m6 brush if you apply your foundation with a sponge this works real good and it's super affordable the next brush that I want to mention is for powder. I use this brush for powder or for dusting away my baking. And this is the E3 brush. It looks like this. This is called the Precision Pointed Powder and it retails for $18. I think this is the, the more expensive brush that I have in this set. So this is a fluffy powder brush that tapers to a defined point to sweep away on powder precisely where you want it. And it's also thin synthetic bristles. As you guys can see, it's a uh, dark hair, so it's going to be synthetic. So I like to use this to wipe away my baking when I'm already done and also to distribute it all over my face. So this is the other brush that I have. The next brush that I have, I use it to apply my blush. And this is the E4 brush, which looks like this. This is called the Angled Contour Brush. I don't use it for contour. I don't know why it's called contour. I use it for blush, and everyone that I know uses it for blush. And this retails for $15. So it says, this brush will fit effortlessly into the hollows of the cheeks and around the curves of the face 
for a perfect blended contour also great for blush so it's for contour but it says it's also great for blush i personally use it only for blush i don't like i don't think i like i don't I haven't tried using it for contour but i like to apply my blush with this and it's also thin synthetic bristles as you guys can see by the color so this one is a must have for blush it applies it so beautifully and distributes it all over your cheek so i really like this brush Another brush that I like is for my bronzer and I like a big brush for bronzer because it's so easy to apply it and this is the M527 brush. It looks like this. This is called Deluxe Pointed Powder and it retails for $17. Once again, I don't know why it's called pointed powder because it is not pointed at all. It's kind of like flat right here which I find perfect for bronze which I find perfectly for bronzer because as you guys can see it fits here perfectly and you just bronze your skin and it's great so this brush is the perfect tool to create a soft wash of bronzer and this is natural bristles as you guys can see by the color this is more white like beige white right now it's dirty because of course i use it but as you guys can see the difference of the color this is synthetic and this is natural bristles so whenever the brush has lighter colors, lighter color of the bristles. It's going to be natural. If it's a dark one, it's going to be synthetic. So this is another must have. The next brush that I'm going to mention, I use it for contour. And I love this brush for contour because it's the perfect size. This is called the Y11 brush. And it's called Deluxe Pointed Contour. And it retails for $8. It looks like this. This lender brush tapers to a defined point to sweep contour powder lightly and precisely into the hollows of the cheeks and around the perimeter of the face. And this is a synthetic brush, synthetic bristles. I like this because as you guys can see, it's perfect for this area. I use it to contour my nose. It's not that big and I really like it. And these brushes are so soft. So this is another must have. The next brush I use for highlighter and this is called the M451 brush. It looks like this and this is called the Detail Highlighter Brush. It retails for $8. $8 you guys. This is so cheap. And it says hit all the highlights with this brush for a diffusing and seamless blending. And this is a synthetic brush. Once again, I use this to highlight right here, my nose, my cupid's bow, a little bit on the forehead, on the chin. So I really like this brush a lot. The next brush I use it, I think the next, the other brushes I'm gonna, I use for my eyes. So the next brush is called the M513 brush. And this is called the Round Blender brush. And this is, and this retails for seven dollars it says full fluffy blending brush buffs color into the crease for a diffuse wash of color with no harsh lines so i use this for my crease and my artery right here and i really like this brush this is also a natural hair brush so yeah the other brush that I have is also for your eyeshadow and this is the M433 brush. This is a super common eyeshadow brush um, from Morphe. This is called the Pro Firm Blending Fluff and it retails for $7 as well. It says tapered crease brush with a pinch ferrule that gives it the versatility either to be used on the flat side for shading or the tip for blending. And it's also a natural hair brush so yes I, as you guys can see i don't know if you guys can really see here but it's kind of flat here and it goes like pointy so you can use this on your crease to buff in color or you can use the flat one to pack on shadow right here so i really like this one as well the next one is also for shadow and this is the m166 brush right here it looks like this it's called the oval shadow and it retails for five dollars the perfect shape and density to place shadow on your lid for a beautiful and controlled application i like to use this one to pack in like the glittery shades or just shadow in particular i don't use this to blend anything because it's super stiff so this really works to pack on shadow and this is and this one has natural bristles, even though it's kind of dark, but it is natural bristles. The other brush that I like, and I use this for under my eye, this is the M432 brush. Looks like this. This is called the Flat Liner Definer, and it's also $5. It says, get 
get in line for a defined brush that goes the distance this is a synthetic bristle brush and i like this because it's flat right here you can literally go under your eye right here buff away all the shadow like stamp the line that's what usually what i do i just stamp the line in there just to get it in there and then i just blend it with another brush so this is another brush okay so i have two brushes left so the next brush this is a M455 brush, and this is called the Detailed Bullet Crease Brush. It retails for $5. I don't use this for the crease. I think it's too tiny for my crease. If you want to use it like more like for a defined line, you could, but I use this to buff away under the um, under my eye, like to just like blend in the shadow. This retails for $5. It says, Boulder is clearly better with this pencil brush for precise color placement. Yes, you can grab a shadow and maybe like on the outer V or something, but I feel like it's too tiny. So I use this to buff away, oh, buff away right here the shadow under the eye. That's basically what I use it for. And last but not least, this is the E35 brush. This is called the Detail Smudger and it retails for $6. I know it's so tiny. I like this for highlighting on small areas. So... Once again, retails for $6. It says, this short, dense brush is perfect for a blown out, smoky look on the lower lash line. I don't use this to smoke out my lower lash line. I use this for highlighter. I grab highlighter and I apply it on my inner corner right here. That's mainly what I use it for. And to highlight my brow bone. That's basically what I use it for. If you don't do this, you don't need it. You can use your finger if you want. But I really like this because it's so tiny and you can really like get in there so yeah this is it this is all the brushes that i have once again these are my go-to brushes and i really do recommend these brushes to you i recommend this set of brushes to everyone because a lot of times when you buy sets morphe has a lot of sets like they have like the jacqueline hill they have another one which i don't know what it is usually all those brushes that come in a set there's a lot of brushes in there that you don't need but i know these brushes that i just show you you will definitely need and they are super affordable like i said and you can do your whole makeup using these brushes only you don't need like to buy a big set or anything so yeah these were all the brushes that i use and now the exciting part if you thought i forgot about the giveaway that i mentioned on my last video no 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 i didn't forget about that giveaway i have everything right here that i'm going to be giving away so i'm going to be showing you what i'm going to be giving away and they are morphe brushes so i'm going to be going through all of the brushes that i'm going to be giving i'm gonna show you i'm not gonna open them because i don't want to open them because they'll get dirty and I don't want to give you guys dirty brushes so I'm going to be inserting a picture somewhere around here of the Morphe website where you can actually see the brush so I'm just going to be mentioning the what kind of brush it is and the name of it so the first brush that you're going to get it's right here so once again I'm going to insert a picture somewhere around here this is the M553 brush and this is a tapered blush brush it says it's a blush brush, but I would usually use this to apply, um, you can use this to apply powder because it's a little bit big, so I really won't use it for blush. I will use it to apply powder. So this is the first one that you're going to be getting. The next brush that you're going to be getting is the Morphe M458, and this is the one inch flat contour. And I like this to actually place the contour line right here, and then you can just buff it away. The next brush is going to be the Morphe M437. This is called the Pro Blender and Contour. This I would use to buff away the contour, or you can even use this for bronzer. The next one is called the Morphe M104, and this is called the Angle Blush. This I will use for a blush only, so yes, this is the other one. And then I have the Morphe M509. This is called the Deluxe Pointed Blender. I would use this to highlight or just to buff away any powder that you have. The next one is the R32, and this is called the Mini Round Contour. I am not going to use this for contour because it's too tiny. I would really, I would usually use this to apply primer or a base on my eyeshadow, on my eyeshadow, on my lid. The next one is the R34, and this is called the Deluxe Blender. I would use this on my crease to blend any shadow that I have. And then the next one is the E24. This is called the Bullet Crease. 
I would not use this for my crease. Once again, these pencil brushes, I use them to buff away under the eye. And I have the M413, which looks like this. This is called the Brow and Spoolie. It has uh, like an angle brush for your brows, and it also has a spoolie right here. And the last, and last but not least, this is not for Morphe, but I figured I would give you guys a beauty blender. This is called the Beauty Blusher. It's meant for a cream blush, but I like to use it for foundation. It looks kind of small right here, but once you wet it, it'll get like to a decent size. So I'm also going to be giving away one of these right here. So this is it for this giveaway. This is all that I'm going to be giving away. Now for the rules, please make sure you follow all the rules because if you don't, um, you won't be entered. So first of all, you have to be subscribed to my channel. Second of all, you have to like this video. Number three, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. If you don't have it, just let me know you don't have any of them. And then leave a comment on this video down below with your email or Instagram handle so I can reach out to you if you already, if you want. And let me know if you already did all the rules. And last but not least, on my Instagram, look for that picture that I posted of my video with the giveaway and tag at least three friends so they can enter as well. So that's about it. All you have to do is just follow those rules and you'll be entered. And it's going to be ending on june the 30th so you basically have um a little bit less than a month so yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching until next time i'll see you guys soon bye <laughs>